White letters and the microphone appear atop gray clouds and a yellow sun. Sunstorm stories. Daniel Alexander Wilson appears on screen. Daniel is a Black Grebo male with intellectual and developmental disabilities. He is a student in the Gulf Coast region. Hello, my name is Daniel. I like talking about my experience with COVID-19 and the effects. One of my family members got me sick and it wasn't uh, a good experience. Um, I had headaches, uh, I was had nausea, I wasn't eating that much and I was sleeping a lot. And my second one, uh, the symptoms weren't that strong and then I got better where I'm able to go back to school or start school again. And when I moved into my dorm and I was setting on, um, I didn't feel well. I wasn't able to eat anything or keep it down. Water tasted weird, juice tasted weird. A couple days went by and I, once again, wasn't able to keep the food down. I was throwing up and I was dizzy, barely able to walk. And I was slurring words and then it got worse. Then my parents stepped in and my mom called uh, the ER to do a virtual meeting. And then they, they, uh, they, they asked me what was wrong. And I also had thrush and I showed them and then they gave me a, a medicine, which was very sugary and, and it didn't taste really well, which also made my symptoms even worse. And after that, um, the symptoms got even worse. I was like, yeah, this is not working. And then I called my dad and he was working or getting off of work. He went and come pick me up at my dorm and we went back home. I, I barely made it to the front door. And when I got into the front door, I went straight to our, our, our bathroom in front of the house and just, and then just sat there because I was about, I was throwing up. And then my mom said, uh, she's going to set an appointment, well, not an appointment, but, uh, call the, uh, make sure I go to ER. Uh, once I got there, I was barely able to walk. And once I entered the ER, uh, I got, I seen a wheelchair, I sat in it and then, uh, I was seen. And then they started asking me questions. Like I was, uh, on drugs or something, and then they asked me to pee in a cup to make uh, to see if I was uh, on drugs, and uh, uh, nothing popped up. And then my mom told them to do uh, to go back and uh, uh, research or dig deep, and um, they came back. Uh, with serious face, not as fine. They told me I uh, I was diabetic and I was uh, my liver was shutting down. And then they started hooking me up in these machines, check my heart rate, and um, the machines were beeping nonstop. And they uh, they called e the EMS and they told them uh, the uh, my doctor told them that I wasn't safe to move. So I waited until I was able to move. And then they took me where they were specialists there, they were able to uh, attend to my my condition. And then once I got to the ER, the ICU, they hooked me up into their machines and um, they started, uh, um, giving me shots, uh, pricking my fingers for like 30 times. And 
after a while, the I started getting better where I can eat and uh, keep the food down. And then I went home and, th and then we, then my mom set up appointment for uh, my other specialist to check me out. And when I got there, um, he told me what not to eat and, uh, and what to eat. He told me about my, uh, the pressure in my eye and if I don't get that checked out, it can affect me or make me blind. And then he, uh, he gave me two insulin bar, uh, containers or uh, samples. Um, one was the short one and one was the long acting one. And then that, my other special, the special I just seen sent uh, me to like, to the uh, cardiologist to make sure no nothing was wrong. And then uh, they gave me a heart monitor to, uh, to make sure, to monitor my heart and make sure nothing's wrong. And yeah, that's my experience with COVID-19 and the after effect. Um, what would I like to say to people that went through what I did? Uh, just keep pushing. Uh, I, I, I understand the pain and I kept going. I know you can too. And to the special, to the physicians, they'll make assumptions about somebody's condition and and make sure you you uh, uh dig deep into the condition, and not just say some random stuff or um random uh, diagnosis that uh that can also get you in trouble and stuff. And uh, I like to thank the people for giving me the opportunity. Just uh, share my story with y'all, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Five logos appear on screen. This initiative was brought to you by the National Disability Rights Network, Seated Ground, Foundations for Divergent Minds, the John Hopkins Disability Health Research Center, and funded by the With Foundation. For more information or to share your story for future editions of this project, visit us at ndrn.org.